Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will demonstrate how to extract numeric values from a string using Power Automate Flow. So stay tuned and let's go to the demo after this short intro. I recently faced a challenge where I needed to extract the price from a receipt scan which also contains non-numeric values. To tackle this, I created a Power Automate flow that extracts only the numeric values from the receipts. I was looking around for a regular expression which can do the same job but unfortunately I could not find any regular expression which can extract only the numeric values from a string. So let's dive in. First thing I will go to make.powerautomate.com on that URL. From left hand menu I will click on create. For this demo purpose I will create an instance cloud flow. You can also create a flow as a child flow which can be run off a parent flow. So whenever you need to extract any numeric information from the string you can call the child flow and get that job done and then return the value into your main flow. So I will click on instance cloud flow, manually run a trigger. So I'll click on create. So the first thing is we need to take an input string. So we'll click on add an action. I will search for compose action. That operation compose, I will use that to build a string. So let's say we have a string which is a pound sign, some numeric values, but then we also have something which is non-numeric. Let's say we want to extract only 12.34 numeric value from this string. And the next action we'll create is add a string variable, initialize variable, we'll call it final string, we'll just name the action as well to final string as well and the type of this variable is going to be string. Next we need an integer variable which we'll need for the do until loop to go through each and every character from this compose string. So we'll click on plus sign and add an action. I will initialize the variable again and this time I will call it counter and then I will change the action name to counter as well. And the type of this variable is going to be integer. Next, we need a do until loop to go through all character in this compose string. So I will add an action and I will take this do until action here, click on it. And then in the value, so until when we need to run this loop. So we'll select the variable, which is our counter variable. We need to take the length of this compose string and we will run this counter variable until we match the length of that string. So we'll say the counter variable is equal to and then go to function and then the type length function and then in the brackets we'll click on dynamic content and we'll select the output string. So we'll select outputs from that compose string. So select that, click on add. All right, so next we need to run few actions within this do until loop. The first action we need to run is append to string variable. So if I type in append, append to string variable action, I will select that and I will select the final string. Okay, so in terms of value, we need to provide this function to the value. So what this function is, this output compose function is basically the output from our compose string, which is our initial string. And then we have a variable which is counter and is counting. So for each substring, we are checking if the value is between 0 to 9 or dot because numeric value do contain dot sign. So it will check if the value falls within this one, then you append that to that string. Otherwise, you will ignore. So any non-numeric character will be ignored. So I will copy that whole thing. And if I come back to this value and click on the function, and then I will insert that here. Just bear in mind that this output compose is coming from this output and the counter is the variable which we set. I will click on add. So we have that value added here now. Okay. So next within that do until loop, we need to increase that counter every time we run it. So we'll click on add, add an action. I will search for increment variable and then the variable is the counter variable we increment the value by one. So every time we go to the next character in the string and then fetch the information and check if it's a numeric value, it will append to this string variable. If it's a non-numeric value, it will just ignore that. So we have append all those numeric values to this final string. We can just 
display that final string outside this do until loop i will click on the plus sign add an action and i will click on compose data operation action and then in the input i will provide the final string so we can see the results in this compose output that's done if i click on save now we'll run the flow and see how it works all right so flow save successfully if i click on the test flow now and click manually run the flow click on test and then run flow click done okay so the flow ran successfully if we evaluate this flow and look in compose action we have pound sign 12.34 mds value so we are expecting the end result to be just 12.34 so if we come down here in the compose one we can see the output of the compose one is 12.34 so we were able to extract only the numeric value and dot from a string now let's test a little bit more complicated string so if i click on the edit and i will go back to compose and i will change this to something more dramatic and then we'll have probably some values here and then we'll have a dot 34 so we are expecting again 12 dot 34 as a value to be in the output of this flow so i will click on save i will click on test this flow again and i will select manually run the flow click on test run flow click done so the flow is running it's looping through all the values in that string and you can see the string is a lot more complicated this time if i look at our compose action that's the string and then if i go to compose one which is an output we are again getting 12.34 as an output. So hopefully today you have learned how easily you can create a power ornament flow to extract only numeric values from a string. You can now integrate this flow as a child flow to your main flow. So whenever you need to extract anything numeric values from a string, I will recommend doing that as a child flow because if you run this in the main flow, there will be too many actions running just to extract numeric values from the string. So I would recommend running this as a child flow. Thank you very much for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos as I upload new videos every week. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you have any question regarding this topic or any other query related to Microsoft 365 technologies, you can add them in the comment section below. I review the comments on a daily basis. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.